हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्लास फाइव साइंस इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप द फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज ह्यूमन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर व्हाट इज सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑर्गन्स ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्लड सर्कुलेशन हेल्दी एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग हर्ट these are the four sub topics that we are going to include in this video so first thing is what is circulatory system circulation is transportation the different things like oxygen or the nutrients or the water these things are going to be circulated in our body from head to the toe fine so circulation is basically transportation system is a combination of organs which are responsible for this transportation so that means circulatory system means it's a combination of few uh, organs which are responsible for transportation of different nutrients water oxygen and excretion of metabolic waste from our body that is the circulation system now the main organ in this circulation system is our heart heart is a important organ of our body it pumps the blood in the whole body which is going to circulate in the all parts of our body now why this is important why the circulation is important in our body this can be explained with the help of these few uh, things it transports nutrients and oxygen to all parts of our body our body need oxygen and without oxygen we cannot survive so that oxygen will be transported using the circulatory system it regulates our body temperature our body temperature normal body temperature is 37 degree c which is going to be maintained by the circulatory system it transports the waste product excretory all the waste products toxins everything is excreted taken out from our body by this circulatory system so carrying the nutrients maintaining the body temperature and excretion of the uh, different toxins from our body this circulatory system is needed organs of the circulatory system the mainly there are three things one is heart two is blood vessel and three is blood which is the part of this circulatory system first one is heart heart is located on the left upper left size side of our chest the adult heart is about the size of a fist this is our fist this is the size of heart for the adult it is protected by rib cage rib cage protects the heart this is our heart it is surrounded by the rib cage which which prevents any damage in our hearts it it is a two story building one up to here this one so one up to here second is this on first you have let left ventricles and right ventricle on the first floor you have right auricle and left auricle so this is our heart in which you have four chambers left and right ventricle and left and right auricles these are the four parts of our After heart heart the next part of the circulatory system is blood vessels this blood vessels include arteries veins and capillaries as you can see in this diagram there are three things one is arteries veins and capillaries what are arteries as you can see red color they carry pure oxygenated blood fine right? and these are the veins these are the veins which carry carbonated or carbon dioxide mixed blood and these are the capillaries which gives a connection between arteries and veins so arteries carries pure oxygenated blood these veins carry 
oxy uh, carbon dioxide rich blood and capillaries are the very fine tubes which gives a connection between arteries and veins next third very important part of our circulatory system is blood blood is the red colored fluid flowing inside the blood vessels it consists of liquid which is called plasma the liquid in the blood is called as plasma and blood cells so what is a plasma it is the fluid which is carrying the nutrients and the waste inside the body you know that our blood is liquid so the fluid which is making our blood is plasma next thing is rb uh, blood cells in blood cells we have red blood cells white blood cells and platelets these red blood cells makes our blood red why they are uh, important they carry oxygen in different parts of the body so uh, blood carries the oxygen because of the rb uh, rbcs or red blood cells then comes white blood cells white blood cells are for fighting f i g h t i n g fighting the infection any kind of infection bacterial infection viral infection which is happening in our body these are the fighters which fight uh, against these infections so that your body can be protected from the different diseases then comes platelets platelets are responsible for clotting of blood clotting of blood what does it mean when there is a injury in your finger or any part of the body the blood come out from that injury now if these platelets are not there it will keep on coming continuously but because of these platelets it thickens and clots have been made so that it stops the blood extra blood coming out your of your body fine so rbc it carries oxygen wbc it is for fighting Uh, against the infections and platelets for clotting of blood next thing is process of blood circulation how the blood is circulated in different parts of our body now blood always carry the oxygen o from where it gets the oxygen from the left pulmonary vein that carries the oxygen rich blood from the left Uh, lungs to the left ventricle of the heart so this pulmonary vein this is the pulmonary vein left pulmonary vein which is connecting the lungs and the heart it carries the oxygen rich blood from the lungs to the heart from here the heart is the pumping machine which pumps the blood in the all body whole body so all the nutrients and the oxygen and other things are circulated in the from head to toe in our body now this nutrients and the oxygen is being consumed by our body and what comes out is carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide again get mixed in the blood and the veins carries it to the vena cava into the heart and from heart this carbon dioxide rich blood goes to the pulmonary artery to the lungs so first pulmonary vein to the heart then heart from aorta to body from body to the veins which carry it to the heart again to the vena cava and from heart the carbon dioxide rich blood goes to the pulmonary artery that carries to the lungs so this way it keeps on moving again and again and again so this way you can check from lungs to heart then heart to the whole body from whole body to again heart and again to the lungs then what is heart beat and pulse you know that there is a contraction this is contraction then relaxation then contraction then relaxation i'm opening and closing my hand this is contraction and this is relaxation of heart this uh, uh, movement of heart produces a thrombing sound which is called as heartbeat 
In case of adults, it is seventy to seventy-five beats per minute. In case of kids, it is ninety to hundreds per minute. And how we are going to measure it? We go, we are going to measure this heartbeat using stethoscope. Stethoscope you have seen in the doctor's neck. They use it to check your heart whether heartbeat is going correctly or not. Now, what are the different ways to keep your heart healthy? By practicing deep breathing exercise like pranayam doing physical exercise it's any kind of physical exercise like swimming walking jogging running cycling and very important thing maintaining the good eating habits that is avoiding the junk food junk food is not good for our heart so you should always avoid it and taking proper rest and sleep performing simple asanas yoga asanas like tadasana and uh, other asanas uh, are important for the healthy heart now in the end let's take up some exercises but before th these exercises i will request you to please please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the all the notification as and when it, i upload any video it is very very motivating for us to keep on working the on the good things so first one is tick the correct option which of the following organ pumps the blood lungs heart artery and vein this is heart auricles and ventricles are blood vessels blood cells heart chambers lungs chambers these are the heart chambers we have already read then plasma is a fluid or liquid we can feel the pressure of movement of blood through the artery vein capillary or skin arteries are the carriers fill ups arteries carry dash blood arteries carries oxygenated blood while veins carries carbon dioxide rich blood next is circulatory system regulates the body temperature platelets prevent the loss of blood fine platelets are the things which prevent the loss of blood as you will know that uh, wbc white blood cells protects or fight against the infections and rbc carry the oxygen and nutrients to the different parts of our body thank you thanks for watching the video